What's going on everybody? Hair here and wow it happened. Sacramento Kings actually selected somebody with that fourth pick. They did not trade it. They didn't do this blockbuster thing. There wasn't a trade back. There wasn't a veteran player involved. There wasn't a win now player involved. The Kings selected at number four. It wasn't Jaden Ivey. Your Sacramento Kings selected Keegan Murray. The rumors were right. Vivek was all in. Kings and company, Vivek, Monte, all the above. We're all in on Keegan Murray. Supposedly he had dinner with Fox and Sabonis and company. And that's just what happened. Kings picked him. There was no trade back. There was no trades. They just picked him straight up. Um, a lot of rumors are going around about Jaden Ivey and possibly trading him. All of that. None of that happened. All smoke. All of us stressed for months for no reason. Constantly checking the BR app. And it, nothing happened. No trades. Nothing like that. Kings just selected who they thought was the best fit available for them. Who was Keegan Murray? Now, Keegan Murray's no slump because there was a lot of Kings fans, uh, you know, pretty mad. The reaction was, you know, underwhelming. People were saying no because it, it wasn't the, the glorified shiny new toy pick like your Jabari Smith, like your Jaden Ivey, like your Chet Holmgren, or your number one pick, uh, Paolo Bonchero. Um, but Keegan Murray was very efficient. He went from scoring eight points a game to the follow to the next year, scoring over 23 points a game. Had over eight rebounds a game, a little under two uh, assists per game. Um, he's a, basically a stretch four, shooting 40% from three. Um, essentially what you need next to Sabonis, a stretch four. Now those stats, um, and he's 6'8", I believe, in height. Um, it sounds pretty close to a Harrison Barnes. It seems like they drafted a younger, more efficient Harrison Barnes. So you're thinking, okay, so... They're looking to play small ball with the four and then Sabonis at the five. Still worried about their defense um, because, you know, you want a, a big stretch four or stretch five, I guess, to play with Sabonis. Um, but they they picked their guy. They picked their guy. So I'm I'm trusting the process. Monte has had done two pretty good picks uh, these last two drafts with Halliburton turning into Sabonis. And then Davion Mitchell who came into his own last year looking like the starter last year towards the end. I'll bet, uh, you know, playing against... You know, teams that had already mailed it in, not playing their starters, but he looked really good towards the end. Uh, so, if that's the pick, that's the pick, and um, I'm not super excited about it because I thought they can get more for it. Of course, you were hearing the rumors about the Knicks offering um, Randall three first-round picks, a possible R.J. Barrett thing, Cam Reddish, who I'm super high on. Uh, there was a package of the Hawks talking about Hoyter, Collins, who hopefully is still in the mix. And their 16th pick, there's a bunch of packages, supposedly the Wizards, Detroit, a bunch of teams were interested in it, but none of that happened. They just picked their guy, Keegan Murray. They didn't care about a trade back, which I, I think Keegan would have been there up to pick six or seven. But Kings, I think the Kings didn't want to risk that. They knew Keegan was their guy. They had dinner with him. Um, Fox's bonus talked to him. It looked like, okay, we're there picking him. Uh, so I'm trusting it. Again, I'm not super excited because, of course, I wanted there to be some kind of trade back, get an asset, do all that. But there wasn't. But at the end of the day, I'm not bummed or sad. Keegan looks very efficient. Again, scoring 20 plus. Looks very NBA ready. Has a nice, smooth stroke. Um, you know, gets decent rebounds. Hopefully, it translates to the NBA right away. We need to contribute right now with Fox and Sabonis. We're in win now mode. And on top of that, I really do hope we still land John Collins, who it looks like we might trade for. Um, Harrison Barnes, maybe a second round pick, maybe another player, I'm not sure. Uh, but then it'd be almost a warrior small ball. You're playing, yeah, basically two Harrison Barnes type players at 6'8. Um, I, I think, yeah, and I think Harrison Barnes is done because he's on his last year. Uh, so it's an offload basically for the Hawks if they can't find a trade partner. I'd love to have John Collins, he's very explosive. Uh, Keegan can learn under him. Keegan could learn really good under Harrison Barnes too if they don't make that trade, uh, at least for this year. But we shall see. Keegan Murray's the guy. Kings pick him. Uh, he's their guy. He's our guy now. I believe in it. Keegan, let's go. Go Kings. Ho hopefully he wins Rookie of the Year. Hopefully the Kings are in the playoffs. And hopefully, you know, the analysts look at, look at this and say, Kings did it with this pick. Because the analysts weren't bad on the pick. You know, they knew, they, they called it a good pick. Said he was efficient. And I believe in it too. Again, he reminds me of a Harrison Barnes. Light, um, younger, and hopefully more efficient. I'm down for it. Let's do it. King and Murray, Kings, let's get to work. Let's get to the playoffs. This is the hair.